Well, hey now, I have another box for you. I'm sorry that I had to take off the mailing labels and ruin such the cute box. I really do like the design of their box. It's super cute. This is the Mindful Souls box. Open up to the world of inner peace and self-love. You ready for it? Aww, there it is. And just like that, you've opened a whole new world of possibilities. Let's take a peek into the box, shall we? I do want that in there because that's super cute. I love that. All right, so here is the catalog or the um, brochure that they sent. Tells you everything that's in there. Wherever you are, be there totally. That's by Eckhart Tolle. And here's the back of it. Mindfulness is a key to self-love. Here at Mindful Souls, we want to help you become a better version of yourself, happier, healthier, and more fulfilled. At the core of what we do lies a very simple truth. By showing yourself the love you deserve, you're teaching the rest of the world how to love you. Right? Unfortunately, a lot of people don't know how to do that. It's up to us to let them know you've crossed the line. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, so here's the... Um, Woohoo! of what's in there. I don't want to show you too much because that will give away the surprise. Every box comes with a sticker. This one is the Mindful Soul sticker. And just so you can see what the um, top of the box usually looks like before it's ruined, it has the little symbol there on the top of the box, and it's super cute. All right. And then every box comes with an affirmation card. This one is Affirmation for Love. Love for flows through my body, shines in my face, and radiates out from me in all directions. Super cute. I plan on saving all of mine and making a quick little oracle deck, or an affirmation deck, I guess. That way we can just pick a card and see where we're going for that day. Love it. Love, love, love. No pun intended. Here's the first item that we're going to take a look at, the Mindful Souls little canvas bag. Let's see what's in there. Oh, any guesses? Super cute. Let me see. There you go. So you can see the colors better. Super cute. It is a crystal phone holder made with natural garden quartz and green agate. This isn't just a stylish accessory, it's a burst of positive energy. On one side, Garden Quartz helps you stay focused on your goals and turn your wishes into reality. At the same time, Green Agate is believed to clear your mind and boost logical thinking. Use it as a mindful reminder for your growth objectives or as a simple way to empower your manifestations. Not pretty? That's really pretty. Okay, I wonder if I can get that just to stay up there. Ah, uh, well, sorry not sorry, I don't edit the video, so you're going to have to just stay here with me, or you could always fast forward if you want, that's alright. You can even turn the, um, the sound down if you don't like the sound of my voice, that's okay too. I just want you to see what's in the box, we've got another one here. Let's see what's in here. Oh, another pretty thing. This one. Isn't that pretty? Can you see the lighting? Yeah, it's pretty true to what it looks like there on screen. And it comes with that cord. I mean, not cord. The necklace there. This is the African Agate Necklace. Feeling stuck in a creative rut? Let this exquisite stone reignite your inspiration and reconnect you with your artistic side. African Agate, more than just an aesthetically pleasing crystal, is believed to encourage thinking beyond the ordinary, inviting a wave of adventure into your life. When you find yourself in a creative standstill, wear this captivating gem for an unexpected burst of inspiration and a touch of adventurous energy. Super cute. Super, super cute. Really pretty. It's got the copper there. That's supposed to be really great for your body. From what I understand, we are have we have a lot of copper in us. 
I don't know all the details, but definitely if that's something that interests you, go ahead and do some research on that. All right, on to our next bag. This one's pretty hefty. It's kind of heavy. Let's see what's in here. It is, oh, look at that. It is a pink amethyst cluster. Really interesting, I'd say. It's as rough as it looks like. Is that a heart I see? Oh, kind of so. I don't know how long you've been on the channel, but you may know that I have a thing for hearts. And for that to be a heart there, it just means that yes, this was indeed meant for me. It almost looks like a little clump of soap, if I'm going to be quite honest about it. Interesting what those little... Let me see if I can get some light on this. There we go. Maybe I should have done that for the entire thing. So you can kind of see where the, um, the glitter is in there. It's the other side. Kinda. All right, pink amethyst cluster. Mend your broken heart and re-fall in love with yourself with the pink amethyst crystal. Celebrated for its soothing and comforting aura, this stone gently guides you toward embracing self-love and reconnecting with your inner happiness. Additionally, many crystal esper experts suggest using this gem to combat insomnia and nightmares. Place it on your bedside table and let its soft vibe rock you to sleep. Nice. I have one of those pillows that's like a, um, it has like a back on it and it has a little pocket in there that I sleep with every night. I have it on my bed anyway. And I'm thinking this might be a great item to add to that pocket. Super cute. I want to show you this now that I've got this light on cute right Isn't that pretty super pretty all right what's in this next canvas bag down in here wow that's pretty big that's a nice size bag right let's see what's in there I should have did the incense here since it's obviously just sitting right here oh pretty what is that is that a little glue, maybe? Yep, that's a little glue to protect the point. Isn't that thoughtful? That's neat. See how big that is? Let me put it on the bag so you can really see it. My hands are a little um, distracting. Super nice. This is a smoky quartz point. If you're ready to shed any emotional or energetic baggage that's no longer serving you, this crystal is just what you need. Adored by healers and spiritualists for its protective benefits, smoky quartz is believed to free you not just from external toxin influences, but also from negative internal thoughts. Keep it close to your front door, and as you step into your home after a long day, let this crystal absorb any negative energy you might be carrying. Interesting. I know um, selenite is really great to have uh, any of your openings to your house, windows and doors, because it cleanses the energy that comes in and doesn't allow the negativity in, apparently. Um, at the bottom of the brochure, it says, it is important to cleanse and activate your crystals as soon as you receive them. Allow them to sit under running water for about five to 10 minutes. If you're near a river, place your gemstones in an open mesh bag and hold them inside the water for a couple of minutes. That way you can go ahead and cleanse and energize those. Oh no! So pretty, so pretty. Um, I often will use an Epsom salt body wash to wash down my um, necklaces if they're crystal. That way I feel like the Epsom salt is re-cleansing those on a daily basis and I just visualize any negativity that they might have absorbed throughout the day just heading down the drain. So if you're interested in doing that, by all means, by all means. 
All right, we've got our incense. What is this one? Oh, darn. Well, such is life. It wouldn't be a video of mine if it wasn't happening, right? And I'm all right with that. All right, this is the moon incense. And we have the sun. The sun incense. Sun and moon incense sticks. Soak in the sun's warmth and let the moon nourish your soul. These incense sticks go beyond creating a serene atmosphere. They're perfect for tapping into the power of the cosmos and leveraging its influence in your manifestations. Light them just before meditation, journaling, or your moon rituals and feel the empowering energy surround you, knowing that the entire universe is cheering you on. Down here, it says the sun, the perimordial source of energy, life giver to the universe. This is the incense that can be ch that can change your life. Light it and feel the energies flow. Winner of top expert award year after year. Then the silvery glow of enchantment has fascinated man through the ages. And in the cool swirls of this incense, you can experience moments of blissful tranquility as your mind remains fresh and free. Super cool. I'm going to have to go ahead and start burning these. Do want to make mention, though. Oh, look, there's a Facebook.com. Hem, hemincense, in case you want to um, find them online. Um, because we're dealing with incense and um, stuff like that, there are certain fragrance, fragrances that can trigger seizures in people. So just be mindful of that. I know that sage is one of them. I think lavender, um, a certain kind of lavender, not all lavenders can do that. Um, and rosemary, those are ones that can contribute to seizures um, if they're already prone to them. But on the flip side, um, essential oils and scents that can help stop a seizure from what I've read, and it might not be true for everyone, so please be mindful, are um, like strong ones like peppermint and rose. They can um, aid in um, stopping one from happening. Um, I have not been able to put that into effect or to see if that works as of yet, um, but because usually when someone's having a seizure, you just want to be right there, you know, and you don't really know when it's coming on. It just kind of happens. With that said, let's do our last canvas bag, shall we? And it's this one. And it's this one. Oh, it's bright yellow. Different than what the um, brochure looks like. Bright yellow. It is an incense holder with roots tracing back to the ancient Mesopotamia that has the Hamsa hand is sacred symbol across cultures, whether seen as a guardian, a source of power, or a connector of chakras. Its interpretations are plentiful yet equally potent. Think of it as a reminder that you're connected to the divine and the universe. It's not just a symbol, it's a powerful token of your place in the grand scheme of things. It's got those little etchings in there. Help catch the dust as it comes down. All right, now I can show you the brochure in its entirety. See, there's the hand. It looks like it's more of like a clay color. Super cute, right? And there's the disclaimer at the bottom to tell you how to um, cleanse your crystals. All right, folks. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I hope that you were able to find something in the box that would prompt you to go get it. I am not affiliated with the company other than loving their boxes every month. So by all means, go on over, sign yourself up, and get your own stuff. Take care and make it a great day.